Oral questions, questions are out. The Honourable Member for Burnaby, New yeah. Westminster. Yeah. Merci. Dean Del Mastro, Michael Sona, Peter Panashue, Sully Zidel. These are conservatives who have been convicted in a real court, of course, with a real judge. Now, this is not to mention the conservative senators who pled guilty for violating the Elections Act and all the other charges still to come shortly, Mr. Speaker. Now, the Prime Minister's office has been accused of orchestrating a cover-up and whitewashing the Deloitte audit to remove the conclusion that PEI was not Conservative Mike Duffy's primary residence. Will the government, will the Prime Minister now confirm that the Prime Minister's office tampered with this report as part of a backroom deal with Mike Duffy? Excellent. The right honourable Prime Minister. Once again, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Duffy is uh, before the courts on his own actions. That's what's before the court. He will be judged according uh, to those actions, and we will continue to assist uh, the Crown in that particular matter. Uh, Mr. Speaker, but uh, it's uh, really rich to hear the leader of the uh, NDP slag certain Conservatives when you have over 60 NDP members of Parliament uh, taking, improperly taking, parliamentary funds for the purposes of financing a political party. Mr. Speaker, this is completely forbidden under the rules. It's, uh, it's almost $3 million worth of taxpayer funds, and the NDP should do the right thing and pay it back or face the consequences. The Honourable Member for Burnaby, New Westminster. And we have uh, 78 Conservative Members of Parliament involved in, uh, in the Duffy Diaries, including the Prime Minister's own Parliamentary Secretary on page 135, where Mike Duffy campaigned with the Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. And I, I, I really I have good advice for all of them, Mr. Speaker. In a real court, they'll have to tell the truth. Now, we have the Prime Minister's office playing fast and loose with residency rules and then falsifying audits. The Liberals, of course, kept evidence out of the Gomery inquiry. Will the Prime Minister now agree to stop invoking privilege to keep an internal Senate residency audit out of the Duffy trial? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, once again, Mr. Speaker, of course, the facts are that none of the uh, individuals that the uh, NDP member cites are charged with anything or accused of anything at all. Whereas the reality is we have uh, five dozen, close to 70 NDP members of Parliament who have taken money explicitly contrary to rules, explicitly contrary to rules of this House, nearly $3 million worth of taxpayers' money to use to finance political party operations across the country. This is completely wrong, completely contrary to the rules, completely illegal, and the NDP should pay it back or they will face it.